This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2007 Ford F550 Crew Cab. Uh, dual rear wheel. Obviously a big long bed on it with uh, work boxes on it and a rack. Um, it's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two wheel drive. It's an XL. Um, has extremely low miles. 31,929 actual miles. I'll show you the car facts so you can see it with your own eyes. Um, uh, it was a new car dealer trade-in to the Tuttle Click Lincoln Mercury Group in Irvine, California. We purchased from them. They gave it a green light guarantee, uh, which I'm a little leery of unless uh, bringing something this big from California, unless I have one, a guarantee from them. And they gave it to us, and it's exactly what they said it was. It runs and drives just like a 31,000-mile truck. Um, they sold these things originally. It's just a cab. Uh, just the cab there's no bed so whoever bought this put that bed on it um, that bed um, has utility bed and it's got a flat bed inside it uh, we bring it here we're doing inspection uh, my guys write down killer work truck runs and drives great uh, good Goodyear tires or excellent Goodyear tires would be better <laughs> than good Goodyear um, does have theft, theft history. Back in 2016, it was stolen for three days from 9216 to 9516. You'll be able to see that in the Carfax when I show it to you in a second. Uh, when, when it got here, it needed a driver window motor, uh, driver uh, power mirror, and we repaired a tear in the driver's seat and we gave it a detail. Now, the only thing wrong here is something that whoever buys this thing will easily be able to deal with. Um, looks like truck was a cabin chassis new. They almost all are. Appears the used flatbed utility bed was installed. Needs new wood flooring or plywood. Or if I was buying it, I would get some diamond plate and weld that in there. That would be cool. But uh, we're going to leave that up to the next guy. I'll show you why. It's just got a bunch of rotted wood. And then they put some plywood over the top of that. Um, whoever buys this truck will know exactly what to do. And it might just be a good thing to have it like that. You can customize it. Anyway, this piece right here is missing on the other side. That is the only thing. I think there's a couple little dings, but on the cab part of it, there's not a whole lot going on. But that's the piece missing, right? Um, Goodyear tires. Very high rubber, as you can see. Um, obviously, people aren't buying this for the cosmetics. Um, if you are, you probably need some psychiatric help. <laughs> but uh, it is a pretty good looking truck for a cabin chassis. I mean, it's got a few little dings here and there. Um, this thing lifts up, but I think it lifts up from inside the box. And I'm kind of one handed. So with this and it's freaking 900 degrees. Actually, not 900. I don't want to exaggerate. The real uh, temperature today is 108, which is like right now. And the Catalina Mountains are on fire behind me. And uh, that ain't going out anytime soon. It's gonna take rain and rain's not for another two weeks. So we'll have our, it's been going for about three weeks now. So it'll be about a month and a half fire. And anyway, really nice to see tires like that. The rears are hand cooks, the fronts are good years. Okay, just to be 100% accurate. Um, they're all high rubber. You know, it's a Royal truck box. Um, all these things move out and remove. So that's what we're talking about. Underneath these old nasty plywood are boards. You know what I mean? Like a flatbed board setup. And they're bad. Um, they're not fall through the floor bad, but they're not good. So whoever owns this, that's your task. All right. Uh, I don't think whoever owns this is going to have a problem making that happen. But. And these are Goodyear. So it is Goodyear. The only hand cooked tire is that passenger rear, uh, but they're all very high rubber, so I guess it really doesn't matter. They're 550 tires, so they're weight rated the whole bit. Wow, that's hot. That did not feel good. I wasn't thinking clearly. Ouch. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay some asbestos hands all right 31,932 miles Let's see. Get that. there you go there you go 
All right, let's go into the hood. We'll be looking for Ford stamps on both uh, fenders, both sides of the course support. And on the hood, which will tell you their original parts. So there's one right there. There's a Ford stamp right there. Another one right here. Should be another one right, right there. Another one right here. Another one right there. Okay. No blow by. Which you would expect of 30,000 miles. Alright. That. And I forgot to unlock the doors. And all I really want to do is enjoy the air conditioning. All right, boom, there. All right, back around. I'm gonna show you the Kelly, not the Kelly Blue Book, there's no Kelly Blue Book for a 550. I'll show you the Carfax. Kelly doesn't go past 450s. Um, let's see, here is your uh, VIN. This is the Carfax, there's the VIN. No access, no damage, Carfax, one owner. Last reported odometer reading was 31,928. A one owner, uh, no type major title problems. All right, and uh, not unusual for a uh, work truck to have mu not much of a uh, Carfax, but there's stolen 92, uh, recovered 95, bought at the auction uh, 6 8 of 2020 with 31,928 miles. All right, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Kind of unusual for it to have, ah, darn it, I locked the windows too. Oh, I'm having a rough day today. <laughs> it's too hot for this. <laughs> oh, and of course, it's like walking around the SS Minnow there. Now, we've walked around it again. Holy cow. Here, here's your window. <laughs> Just gotta unlock it. It's an XL with windows and locks, which is kind of unusual. All right, floor looks good. That's what you would expect on a low mile vehicle also. It does have manual in here that looks like it's never been opened. That. Yeah, the floor in it, it's pretty. <laughs> For a 07, it definitely, cab forward, looks like a uh, like a 30,000 mile truck. I know it runs like one because I just drove it. Um, bed needs a little attention. But uh, we already discussed that, so that's not a surprise any longer. Oh, that button, yow. Didn't take long to get hot. Alright. Door locks. Okay. Mirrors, power mirrors, that's a new mirror. Other side, out, in, down, up. Alright, like I said, this window motor is new on the, on the driver window. It's got tilt and cruise, which is another really unusual thing on a 550. So this thing was probably really special order. It's got the running boards on it that I just got in with. Oh, the AC works great. Thank the Lord. <laughs> it's freaking hot. All right, let me get the seatbelt on. All right. All right, seatbelt on. It's got a radio with a CD player, which is also unusual. Uh, it, it is scary, scary dangerous for the state of Arizona. So you got you got tunes. There's some trailer stuff. They even they've never even taken that off the plastic of it. Boom. Let's see what else we got going on here. They stole the lights out of the cab, which is what they do when they steal things. The, the car thieves and no one ever replaced them probably because it's never out at night so no one cares but they probably stole it at night all right there's tow haul on and off right 
Um, what else we got going on here? We got cruise control, which you can't do on a Ford unless you're moving. Let me open the gate here and go for a ride. I'm gonna hop on this on the worst streets in the United States. It's embarrassing. This is, uh, you can kind of guess who runs Tucson. It's the only city in Tucson run by this party. <laughs> Figure out which one it is well, when you see the road I'm on. This is like right next to I-10 off Prince Road exit. And they have patched this road about 5,000 times. They needed to pave it, I don't know, a decade ago. <laughs> but uh, this is what they do, right there. Nice. Anyhow, um, all right, if you come to Tucson to drive this thing home or wherever, you will uh, be paying the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is. If it's Arizona's, then it's Arizona's. If it's your state is different, then it's whatever that state is. Plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name, probably your company's name in this case, um, and address. We'll sign it off to you. We will uh, scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in. All right? Um, you are in charge of shipping, so you're gonna have this vehicle shipped to you if you're gonna, if, unless you're gonna drive it. Um, if you are gonna ship and you need help, let us know at the beginning of the transaction and we can help you. You're welcome to do it all by yourself if you know how. Uh, it's not really that difficult. Uh, but uh, on this one, it might be because of the length and the size of the truck. Um, but uh, there are people out there that specialize in this type of thing. So uh, just let us know um, what it is and we can help. Um, I would say, just to give you an example, if you were shipping this to like from Tucson to Houston, because it's on I-10, it's not too expensive. I'll bet we could get it there for probably yeah, the weight and length, probably thirteen to fifteen hundred. But if you were going to like Minnesota, you're probably going to pay twenty five hundred or more, maybe. Um, Vegas, probably somewhere in the area of seven hundred, six hundred, something like that. Um, anyway, those are all just guesses. Um, it just depends on how busy they are that day. Um, anyway. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Um, so please make sure you get your deposit. Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time on every single video. Thousands of videos in the last 13 years. Okay? We don't have... God damn it, the bus pulls right in front of me. Um, we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have salesmen. Uh, we don't have a fancy location. You saw where we came from. Uh, we don't have uh, uh, a lounge to hang out in. We don't have an attendant serving, you know, scones and lattes. They got all that crap at the auto mall a mile east of here, okay? So, because we don't have all that stuff, it's not included in the price of this vehicle, okay? Uh, so you're not paying for it. At the auto mall, if you were to buy this truck from them and it broke, that you would bring it in and say, fix my truck. Uh, they charge you for that too. On a vehicle like this, I know how exactly how it works. They would probably at least build seven or eight hundred dollars into future repairs for it because it's diesel, right? Uh, now there's nothing wrong with it at all, but they just assume you're going to show up and say fix something, a window motor or something. So they put that in the uh, in the uh, 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 price of the vehicle. We don't because we're not fixing your truck. Uh, the give and take here of all the information that we give you, of all the uh, of all the um, photos, the information, the video, the car facts, all that stuff. Um, the give and take here is that you'll be the owner on day one and you're going to fix your truck from day one on. Um, if that is not good for you, then none of these cars, except that one, that is on factory warranty, that little ridge line. Um, we don't have anything for you, okay? So please make sure that you understand that because uh, we are not writing checks. Now that being said, it's a 30,000 mile truck with a nice set of tires. No, they're not matching tires, um, which is not unusual in work trucks either. Um, but, you know, I gotta adjust this. My brother's doing photos. I wanna adjust this. I don't wanna put this thing in the ditch behind me. That would be embarrassing in the video, right? So I just wanna make sure that I'm backing it up into the right spot here. All right. There we go. I'll just leave it right. Photos up 
there and I don't want to get in the way. This truck is huge. Um, anyway, that's how we roll. This is a nice truck and I think I'm gonna kind of hang out here for a second because the AC is awesome. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Uh, 108 right now. Um, maybe I'll give you a little tour of Tucson of what's going on here. Yeah, I got two more minutes. I, I go to 17 minutes and 38 seconds on a video. So, give you some bonus coverage here. So, here's the deal. We have a fire. It's been burning for, I think it's like since June 8th. See all that smoke over the mountains right there? That is the Bighorn Fire, which is now officially the ninth biggest uh, fire in the history of Arizona. And what puts these fires out is the monsoon, and that doesn't come for until eh, at least early, right around 4th of July. So we've got two weeks to go. That thing's gonna burn a lot. There's a lot of cabins up there. This thing's gonna be, you'll be seeing that on the news pretty soon. Um, national news. Anyway, kind of sucks, it's 109. It's kind of windy, those guys up there fighting that fire. It's, you know, 11,000 foot mountains right there. I mean, from where we're standing to the top of that mountain in the winter time, you can go skiing in about 45 minutes. So, I mean, it's pretty, <laughs> it's probably pretty warm up there right now and pretty dangerous. I would not want to be a firefighter up there right now. That is scary. Anyway, all right, I think that's about it. I think I'm just about out of time, maybe. Bum, bum, bum. Keeping another look. The racks up there. Not sure what the wood was for. Maybe to even it out or make it softer for whatever was laying on top of there. Just so for your knowledge, I think that the door sticker said that it was 17,500 pounds, the cabin chassis part of it. I would say this bed is probably another 2,500 pounds. So it's gonna be right around 20,000 pounds, give or take. Um, and I think that this thing from end to end is probably, probably somewhere around the 212 inches, 218 inches, something like that, long. It's got that big tow hitch too, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.